few months ago, when the Huawei P30 Pro hit the market, I bought it. And since I'm a lot of night photography with professional cameras, I wanted to try out if I can use that phone for night photography too. And I posted a video, the link uh, to the video is uh, below in the info box and uh, was loudly contemplating and discussing basically with myself how this is all working. In the meanwhile, I learned a lot about that phone. And uh, what many people asked me is if I could demonstrate that it is possible to photograph the night sky with the P30 and also to do star trails. This is something I did a few days ago at night. I placed my phone on a tripod and uh, let it basically shoot overnight uh, from around 11 p.m. up to 4 a.m. in the morning. In this video I show how I did it and I also show the results and I think the results are quite nice. So let's get started. I do not use the automatic star trails mode but the pro app and ISO is at 400, shutter speed at 20 and uh, focus is manual at infinity. So now I have the self timer. You see it's pitch black dark and then we get the shot. Uh, on the right hand side you see how it is counting to 20 seconds around the shutter button and uh, then we look at the result in a moment and see if this is usable for you know star pictures, star trails, uh, time lapse kind of night sky videos and all these fancy things. So shot taken, let's look at the picture. All right, quite nice. If we go into it, we see the stars pinpoint sharp. So I think we can now activate the intervalometer app from Google Play Store and then do this uh, in automatic fashion over the rest of the night. I've actually shown how this app is working. I post a link below in the info box for those who want to recapitulate how this is done. Wide angle is important to capture as much as possible of the night sky and of course in the intervalometer app deactivating the self timer is something I want to do now because uh, then the phone under the control of the intervalometer app will do everything by itself and in fully automatic ways. So let's go back on the live screen. And then on the live screen, uh, I have uh, start at infinity what I want to use. I have white here and I think I want to configure the shutter button again. Make sure it has the right uh, setup and then clicking on start infinity and that should do the trick. Five seconds delay in the self timer and then it should start shooting. On the right hand side again around the shutter button, you see counting up to 20. And ISO, as I said, was set up at 400. You could probably go down a little bit or if you want to have it brighter, you can also go up a little bit. Focus manual at infinity to make sure the stars are pinpoint sharp as we just saw. And now the shot is taken. And now you see on the left hand side, the intervalometer app counting up by 10 seconds. That's what I set up here. And then the next round starts. And in this case, I don't know why, around the shutter button, it's not showing how it's counting up to 20 seconds, but that didn't harm the result later on. So we wait for a moment, shot taken, waiting time for another 10 seconds. That's the interval between the shots and then another shot will be taken. And uh, I think then I stop my little demo here and we look at the results. So now, funny enough, on the right hand side, you see around the shutter button, the 20 seconds in the progress bar in that circle. And uh, I don't know why at the second shot that didn't work. Anyway, not important as long as I get my sequence of shots. Out of the sequence of shots taken in that night, this is one randomly picked uh, frame here. And you see it's quite a nice picture, not too much noise. I had this with some tweaking in Lightroom, but absolutely usable as it comes out of the camera. You also see the Big Dipper clearly on the night sky, a little bit uh, from the middle to the left hand side. And uh, I'm going to show now a little animation showing in red color the Big Dipper and then supplementing it in blue color to show the full star constellation which is called the Big Bear or with his Latin name uh, Ursus Major. And uh, then, you know, uh, I hope you enjoy my little Star Trail demonstration which comes thereafter. Um, I uh, was building this up in Star Stacks which is a freeware software for the Mac. You can get it for free in the web. And now, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe and thanks for watching.